Well, not that I'm blowing my own horn or anything. Yeah, sure might be. <laughs> so you keeping those two waiting for a purpose? Good evening. Hi, Mike. Hi. We're expecting two more. Well, I'm, uh, excuse me. I'm surprised that you're, uh, you're not keeping this lady all to yourself. Mike, when are we going to run away together? Oh, I don't know. You name the time and uh, we'll work it out. <laughs> Here you go. <clears throat> yes, thank you. Sure. Name your poison. My friend likes champagne. The more expensive, the better. Mm. Treat your friends well. Yes, I do. Uh, a bottle uh, from Luke's private reserve. Got it. <laughs> Where'd Luke find that one? Well, you know, Luke. Who is she? Babe. Agree. But what's her name? Babe. <laughs> Enjoy. Uh, excuse me. Do you want to make this a table for five? No, oh, that's okay. I'll just uh, keep ordering more champagne. Are you going to continue to appreciate her so enthusiastically on my time? Oh, this is your time? I know you. You're the kind of man that collects women like paintings or fine wine. God, no. Any woman worth her salt wouldn't stand for it. Good answer. Don't tell me you haven't been known to check out a retreating pair of jeans. Actually, I'm a peck woman. And I love really beautiful, strong hands. Interesting. You know, when I was with Sonny, no other man in the world existed to me physically. Well, then welcome back. Thank you. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Jeez. Something funny? No. <laughs> yeah. I hope you realize you don't fool me. I know you'll never be a one-woman man. I really would like to know who she was. Who was it? The woman who got to you. I mean, you know that I picked up on that moment at Kelly's. But you pick up on a lot. You still think about her. How long ago was it? Ah, yes. Conchita the Flyer. She was a pilot? Circus aerialist. She loved the first somersault. Followed her across Europe. It's all set to marry her too, but her father insisted that the ceremony take place on a bar to bar flyby. By the time I mastered the maneuver, Conchita caught me with the shield of the lion tamer. Just as well. I'm not too fussed about heights. That's okay. You can tell me the real story someday. It's not as interesting. I don't know, Jax. I have a feeling that everything about you is interesting. I return the compliment. Well, you two don't look like you need chaperones. Well, I figured it was time to uh, drink a toast to friendship. I uh, trust you uh, like champagne? Friendship. Nothing more, nothing less. That's what you wanted, right? See, I'm a reasonable guy. Where's Ned? Oh! Checking coats. Oh, I'm glad you were big enough to accept my invitation, Ashton. Big is my middle name, Jax. So, here we are. Yes. Here we are. So I really wanted to go to Ireland, you know. Well, we should all go there someday soon. But in the meantime, I've arranged for the next best thing. Which is? You'll see. So what exactly did you tell him to make him think that he was complicating my life? I don't know. Oh, come on. I may have said that you were a little... Vulnerable oh. right now that you had a hard year. So you don't want me to have any fun? Yes, now we're having fun. There's nothing wrong with having fun. As long as everybody's playing the same game. And as long as nobody tries to sack the deck or palm the aces. That play correction? Or tries to take over a company by resorting to sleeping with the CEO's wife. In poker, that's what they call a full house. It was very effective in Seattle, hasn't it? You know, I always wondered how E.O.Q. lost out on that particular deal. Could you pass me some more champagne, please? Egged at me. 
ELQ was in first position, ready to close on that hotel chain in Seattle, and then all of a sudden, it's yours. Yes, it was a nice piece of work, that. I'm sorry you didn't think of it first. Sleeping with the CEO's wife ain't my style. Don't pretend you're above it, Ashton. You know from your own experience how gratifying it can be to mix business with pleasure. Lois is my wife, not someone else's. I see, so this uh, would mark the first time you've been intimate with another colleague? The past isn't the issue. Oh, what mine is? <laughs> what do you expect me to do, justify my behavior? I don't think so. Oh, no, what I'd like you to do is announce your filing flight plans, but I'm sure that's not going to happen, so instead I will settle for your version of the truth. And I'm sure these ladies would be interested to know as well. well I suspect... Now let me go a step further. I am absolutely sure I haven't done anything you wouldn't do. There's something you wanted badly enough for at stake. <laughs> I do find it amusing, though, you went through all this uh, trouble of scrounging through my past in search of sort of details. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not trouble. It pays to know what the competition's uh, up to or capable of. And I'd be willing to bet that I'm sure there's much more where that came from. I'll find it. I'll be my guest. However, I'm curious as to why any of this is better. Oh, I just want Lois and Brenda to have a clear perspective when it comes to you. <laughs> Circling the wagons to protect the women. Ashton, either you've indulged in far too many silly westerns or you're scared to death of them. 